be Mommy with Style and today I have another KonMari organization method video for you. Today I'm going to be clearing and organizing my vanity, <laughs> my makeup. So that's what I'm going to be focusing on today. I may also be trying to do my jewelry and my nail polish today, but those would be separate videos. Once you see those videos, you'll understand why. Um, but if you haven't watched my other videos, basically this method is about touching everything, assessing everything, and seeing whether or not it brings joy. I will link the other videos down below in the description box as I won't go through the whole you know, description of it too much. But basically, I'm going to be assessing everything to see if it brings me joy. And if it does not, then it's supposed to go so that they weigh all the items that are left are items that bring me joy, make me happy, and I absolutely love. So unfortunately with makeup, obviously a lot, all of it has been used. So if it's something that's going, it basically has to be thrown away. This is one category where you don't really get a lot to donate because no one really wants to use makeup. Um, and I will be looking for things that are like out of date and things like that as I go through here. So my main goal is to get all of my things organized to where the things that I love and use a lot are super accessible and clear out some of the drawers and things like that. So here we go. So here is my no holds barred <laughs> makeup vanity. This is true life. This is what it looks like. Um, I do have some random things sitting up here that I have to find another home, like these photos. There's a thing of samples, which Marie Kondo says that she absolutely hates. So those are probably going to be going. Um, and then here's the main things that I use. But obviously the reason why they're not in drawers is because the drawers are full. So what I'm going to be doing is going through all of my makeup items and assessing to see what I absolutely love, what can stay. And then hopefully I'm gonna, just going to clear everything out and have a nice happy space afterwards. Like one of the things that she says is like samples like this. You just hang on to them, you never use them, which is absolutely true. I never really use these. I have just an exception of a couple of deluxe samples, which I'll hang on to, like this Bond one. Um, but other than that, a couple of the bigger size ones, all these little ones are just going to go. So I'm just going to toss all those. I've also got a bag here for recycling some things, like this Dior eyeshadow. I'm going to keep because I like the eyeshadow, but I just didn't use it very often because I, for whatever reason, leave things in boxes a lot of times. So I'm going to be disposing of a lot of the random boxes that are just sitting in here also. There are a few examples of things that like I got this. It's a benefit fragrance and I don't think I'm going to use it and it's like a deluxe size. So things like this, I'll probably make a small donate pile out of this. But obviously if anything is used, I won't be donating it. But this is perfectly donatable. So I'm going to start a donate pile with this. This drawer. So first I have to go through all of these lip products and kind of see what I like and what I don't like. Um, this Burberry gloss, I got that when we went to Chicago for the girls' day. I like that. This baby lips color is not my favorite, so I'm going to throw that away. This is an old mascara that's probably no longer good. There are a bunch of bucks and glosses, which for the most part can stay because those are one of my favorite glosses. And then this NARS gloss I also like. Little lip pencils from Ulta are awesome. I love these to apply like glosses that are down inside a pot. This Busy Signal I use as an eyeliner sometimes. So I'm going to move everything out of this to try to, I'm wiping everything out with these pledge wipes um, and then I'll move things back in here. So I'm going to make this like a face drawer. Tarte stuff I love, still works great for me. Um, this Mary Kay, if it hasn't dried up, I'm going to go ahead and keep it because it does work really well as a liquid eyeliner and I like a gel eyeliner and I don't have a bunch of those. This is a NYX concealer. This Tarina Tarantino palette, I still really like this. This has got a lot of purple colors and I still use it at certain times of the year. This Moxie would be a nice color for spring. A lot of these can go because they're just too old to be used still. And then this is where I keep my extra brushes. Some brushes I keep on hand, like if Bella wants to play around and do her makeup. I'm going to put all of the lip glosses up there. Exactly what she said in the book. I hung on to this. This was a deluxe sample. I had four eyeshadows in it. I thought it would be nice for traveling, but I never use it for traveling. I just bring my regular stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and donate this because that can go. So this is a box of things that I've gotten from Sephora that are like deluxe sample type things, but they are actually brands that I use for the most part. So I just need to get them distributed to the rooms that they need to go to. So like this origin stuff just needs to go to our bathroom where I use it. All that will get used. I have a ton of this eye cream. It's just a bunch of back stock. And then um, this buxom gloss I will use. So I'll stick it up here with my mascaras. 
and this is styling cream so i'll also use that so next i have these muji drawers which i absolutely love and these are a great way to display your makeup but obviously i just kept putting stuff on top of it i would like to get everything contained down to my clear drawers if possible nars is a sticky subject for me i love my nars stuff so i'm going to be hard pressed to get rid of anything down here but i'm going to go through everything and just make sure it's all still in good condition and if it's not i'll toss it all right so i just finished up cleaning out these top two drawers and these are all blushes and what i'm going to try to do is i think instead of organizing these organizing these by brand i'm going to organize them by category kind of what i'm doing in general right now and so i'm going to put all these blushes together with my other tart blushes that i use all the time and i think that would be helpful to find everything so I'm going to clean out the other set of drawers and then try to move everything around by category. This is the Beauty Blender Solid Cleaner Cleanser that I got from Sephora Deluxe Sample. I honestly don't feel like it works any better than just using like baby shampoo or alcohol. So I'm going to toss this. So here's where we start to get into a lot of palettes and things like that. So this Mary Kay gloss was given to me. It's not a color that I picked out. It's not exactly my favorite color. So I'm going to toss that. And I have a number of palettes. I have a couple of these sleek palettes. One is blush, so I'm going to put that with the blush. And this is an eyeshadow palette. So I'm going to try to start grouping eyeshadow palettes. Together. So I'm going to try grouping some of my most used or favorite lip products up here. And then the next drawer down, I'm going to try to put blush in here. And then try to work my way down and have palettes in the bottom. So that's how the lip drawer is shaping up and these lip lacquers, I love these. These are from NARS obviously and it is unfortunately time for these to go. So I've had these for a real long time. If this gives you some idea, I was inspired to buy these or start buying these from Sex and the City, the TV show. And you probably know how long that's been off the air and it wasn't the last season that I was inspired I to buy. I think it's time for them to go and... You know, this is one of those things I've been hanging on for nostalgia's sake. I really like them, so they need to get replaced. It's time for them to go. Sweet. Some things like this palette, I know I've had it for longer than the 12 months that it says on there. I actually won this in a YouTube contest. So stuff like that can be tossed. And I'm liking how this is looking. I loved having all my NARS things down there, but it was time to stop doing that. This just makes more sense. So lip products are going to be up here. I'm going to start putting all the blushes and there's some kind of like shimmer face products back there. And then we're going to see whether this is blushes and face things and eyeshadows or how this shapes up. These Dior palettes are not the cheapest thing by any stretch of the imagination, but unfortunately I tried them and neither one was really my favorite. Uh, and the Dior eyeshadow just didn't really work out for me. So those are both going to go. And I'm freeing up some space here. So far, this is what the palettes look like. You'll notice that my naked palettes don't fit in this thing because they almost take up a whole drawer by themselves. But I'm going to see where I can put them after this is all done. Then mascara-wise, these are all of the ones I'm using currently. So I'm just going to tuck them down in here where I have a free space, CoverGirl, Lash Bloom, and Maybelline Falsies. And then I have a little travel size of the Lights Camera Lashes, which I really like. This one's an older one, as you can tell by it rubbing off, so I'm going to toss that one. And then I have some of this Rommel Brow Gel, which I'll stick down in there as well. This tray back here is pretty solid. I just went through everything and wiped everything down, and then I tr put the tray back. Um, there are a number of foundations that I keep back here, but I do use all of them. I'm one of those types of people where I use a number of foundations. This has cuticle scissors and things like that in there. When I trim my eyebrows, I use those. Um, and I do use a number of foundations. So I'm one of those types of people where I need a lot of foundations, apparently. So I have, like, this BB Plus cream. I have a couple different shades of this HD foundation, which I blend them sometimes. I also use this Tarte foundation. I've been liking this Lumi foundation a lot for just basic everyday foundation. So I do use all those. I have the MAC Fix Plus, which I use sometimes, and then also this Urban Decay spray. And I'm going to use this up, and then I'm going to try the L'Oreal spray. But in the story is, a lot of this can stay because all of it brings joy, and there's really nothing that can go except for, I guess this is my old blush brush. Maybe I can get rid of this because I've been using this one a little bit more often. But since I typically been using this NARS one or the Mary Kay one, we'll go ahead and toss that as well. And then I'm just going to put all the foundations and face things back over here where they were because that, that works for me and I'm fine with it. 
This Guerlain powder, I don't use it super often, but it does make me happy and the packaging makes me happy also. So I'm kind of using it as decoration out here. That's what the beads on the inside look like. And I also have the little brush back here that goes with it. But I'm gonna put that up there and this is kind of what I think I'm gonna go for for decoration and I'm loving this bird cage that has different lippies in there as well and I'm kind of just liking that configuration so we'll see if that stays like that and there's my little lottery charm box so this side is starting to shape up I just can figure out I, I do really like this this brings me joy I love everything in there so I'm just going to place that after I have a spot for it I have all my little charms over here which I love those and I still have my naked palettes which I love and I'm going to place after I kind of have everything um, else set However, that brings me to this area set, this corner of the world. I have these kind of drawers from the container store. And to be quite honest with you, this was just sitting back there like this. And it sits behind my lamp. Hello. And um, none of this stuff ever gets used. And it's more about its position in the, than anything else. So I'm going to go through all this and see what sparks joy, what I can keep. And then after I go through it, I'm going to try to push it forwards a little bit and kind of set it at an angle to where it's a little bit more visible to where I might use the things in there more. And if that doesn't work, I'm going to have to try to find some other solution um, because it's, you know, not working if I'm never using anything of it because of its position. But I'm going to go through all the things in here, which are basically like um, some eyeliners and eyeshadows. And I have all my face products. I do use this drawer a lot for whatever reason. I put my concealers and things back in there. But then all this lip stuff, it just becomes the stuff up there. So I'm going to go through all this. So I'm just trying to wipe down each of the drawers as I go through them. And this drawer had like all of my eyeliners and like an old mascara in there. So some of this stuff has been in there for a while. I can toss all of these things because I know that they're too old. And some things like this green eyeliner, I'm never going to use that so it can get tossed. A lot of this drawer has um, different cosmetics like the concealers that I use um, when I need to. So I'm going to hang on to all of those. And it has eyeliners mixed in. So I think what I'm going to do is start organizing these by like concealers, eyeliners, and different face products and see if I can get it to where this area is more usable. And on to the lip drawer. So I am going to go through all these things and see what sparks joy because I have a feeling there's quite a few things in here that can probably go. So a lot of these things that I have in here are things that I ordered and ended up being such not a great color for me like this one right here or ones that you know maybe I tried and I've kind of gotten out of that phase so I'm feeling actually a lot of the stuff in here is going to be able to go so some of the stuff I still really like and I just had forgotten about like this NARS lip pencil I actually remember really liking these and I hadn't used them in a while because I'd forgotten about them so I think if I get some of this stuff cleared out um, I will be able to use some old favorites, but like all these lip glasses, you can tell just by looking at them, they need to go. There's a Hello Kitty one in here, if anyone remembers that line, <laughs> how long ago that was. So all those can go in the trash. This can go in the trash. And what I think I'd like to do is eliminate this little butterfly box. I'm just going to donate this because I do like it, but it's not like overwhelmed with joy. And I'd like to get all of my palettes and everything back into these clear drawers because that's what I prefer. And I think because I do have more lip products I want to keep, what would make sense is if I take all of these blushes out of this drawer and then just keep all of my lip products. Um, in the top two drawers of this Muji drawer system. So then it'd be lip products. I would have all of my naked palettes and my other palettes that I use all the time down here. Cinderella palette, Disney palettes, other eyeshadows. And then that's lips and eyes. And then over here, I'm still going through this drawer right here. So never mind those drawers. But over here, I have my concealers, my eyeliners, and eye primers. And then I'm thinking blushes over here. So we're going to try this and see how that works. And then had people on some older videos asking about these Revlon lip butters. So now seemed like as good a time as any to let you know what colors they were. <laughs> they were wanting to let me, they were asking what colors I had. So I have 25, which is peach parfait and 45, which is cotton candy. And I do still like both of those. 
We had a uh, lip gloss blowout in this drawer, which has affected a number of these. I have to say, these Marc Jacobs glosses, not a fan of these. Not particularly a fan. I think this is what leaked. These were definitely not worth the money. But these are going to go because they don't spark joy at all. Quite a few lip products in there. All right, and over here I was able to condense it down to one drawer set, which I like this, and I tried to also shift it out to the side and kind of tilt it so I can see it around my mirror a little bit better. I just put all of my kind of primers and eyeliners down there. I put all of my concealers and face primers here. I put all of my different blushes here and then on the little drawer I had on the top. And then this is kind of like an odd shape. It's an eyeshadow and face palette and it has blush in it as well. So it's kind of an odd shape. It's kind of difficult to store because it's not made to go into something that's square. So I stuck that up there. I have my cute little puffs from the Disney Beautifully line back there. And then my Tarte bag is back there, which is where I'm used to keeping it. All of my foundations stayed over there along with my brushes. I have this candle, which I may move around into other places. But then I think that this looks drastically different and it looks a lot better. I have lip products up here at the top and then here in the second drawer. And then I moved all of my Naked palettes down here so they're more accessible. And also the same with all of these eyeshadows, loose eyeshadows and then eyeshadow palettes down here. So it just helps get everything more accessible. And then this is an empty perfume bottle just for decoration. And I'm going to be doing perfume in a different video that will hopefully be shorter. But I am a casual collector of perfume. But I'm putting those up there as decoration because Dior is one of my favorites. So I just have those up there for decoration right now. And I don't know. I'm liking it. It definitely looks a lot better. So I would like to eventually get, I love this covering, but it's really seen better days. I've had this for the better part of almost 10 years. So I'm going to keep my eye out for a different placemat to cover and kind of protect the dust from all the makeup. This is obviously need to get washed right now. Um, but I'm just going to see what I can find that speaks to me and then I'll probably replace this. But I'm really liking my new vanity area. So hopefully you guys like following along on my new KonMari vanity area. And here's what's inside of the drawers. It's just kind of powered down a little bit. I mean, obviously, I still have a ton of makeup, but I love makeup. This is like a collection for me. I use it daily, and I really enjoy it. So I do really love everything here, and I love how this looks. So thanks so much for watching today, and have a great day.